It is now 615 in central Iowa. It is PM in Tokyo, Japan, and there you can see kind of a haze there too. They're not dealing with the same smoky sky we are. They have high humidity and noticeable heat once again in Tokyo. We have a cool down to enjoy in central Iowa, and I'm excited to tell you about it. The best news is if you didn't get a chance to enjoy the 80s yesterday, we have more on the way today tomorrow and Wednesday, but the smoke, the haze will continue to be a factor. And because of it, there is poor air quality being reported in parts of the state. We have a light east wind, low humidity, and then it turns warmer this weekend. Right now, that air quality alert is still in effect until noon today. However, I'm not seeing as much smoke this morning as we did over the weekend, and I do think it will let up by the end of the day and tonight. And tomorrow, we should see more of that sunshine, the bright blue sky. But during sunrise and sunset, the smoke will continue to be apparent, giving it that orangish, kind of cotton candy appearance. Look at these numbers this morning. 50 degrees in Webster City, 56 in Osceola. This makes me want to go for a run, and I don't usually run. The dew points right now are fairly low. You just need to be prepared for that smoke if you do have respiratory issues. But overall, I'd be making some outdoor plans this afternoon because this is the warmest it's going to get across the state. I know this is the first week in August, and temperatures will be below average. Tomorrow it looks almost identical. The only change I'm seeing, and this is pretty consistent, is some warmer temperatures in northwest Iowa. And that's where it's the driest, unfortunately, and that's where it will be getting the warmest. Now, I do think we'll all be warming up by the end of the week, but in the meantime, it looks pretty nice. And the radar satellite composite continues to look pretty quiet. This is all because of high pressure overhead, and that will keep us dry, keep the winds light, and keep the temperatures pretty comfortable. Now, eventually that will move out, and I do think that will happen by the end of the day on Wednesday. We'll heat up on Thursday, and that instability could trigger a brief shower, isolated thunderstorm. We all know we need the rainfall. There will be better chances Saturday night and Sunday, but I'm really not seeing anything widespread or significant in the short-term forecast. But I am seeing some heat return by the end of the week. So take full advantage of the comfortable conditions right now. 60 degrees at dew points at a comfortable level, and the winds are light out of the northwest at 3. The winds will stay light throughout the afternoon. I'm seeing a more easterly component to the winds. That smoky sky will continue to be present especially early on 81 this afternoon tonight 58 for the low with just a few clouds and then tomorrow afternoon we'll be back around 83 on Wednesday 84. Now that we're into August our average highs around 85. These numbers are below average on Thursday that chance of rain early in the day dry in the afternoon on Friday 88 and this weekend does look warmer with highs around 90 and lows in the 70s. I am seeing a chance of some spotty storms Saturday night and again Sunday night. It doesn't look likely at this point, but something you'll want to monitor if you do have outdoor plans. Today's weather rating is still high. I did have to take it down a point. I mean, it is a Monday and we are starting off with that smoky sky. But overall, it's a day you'll want to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather with sunshine in 80s. I did look ahead to the outlook for the state fair. I hope you're sitting down. It looks hot and dry, so more <laughs> 90s to come.